Welcome to the biggest city in the world inside the Arctic Circle, Mammoth. What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm in the city of Murmansk. With 300,000 people, Murmansk is the capital of Murmansk Oblast and it's the biggest city in the Arctic Circle. Not only in Russia, but the entire world. Because of its position inside the Arctic Circle, at the height of summer, the sun never sets here, and in the depths of winter, the sun never rises. Today, I'm in Murmansk, in the part of winter when there is only four hours of sunlight. So, it's 11 o'clock now, the sun has just risen, and I have until about 3 p.m. until the sun sets. And then a few more minutes of some sun, and then it'll be dark, and it'll be dark all night from about 4 p.m. all the way until sunrise the next day. So it's going to be a pretty interesting experience for me. I've never really experienced such times close to a polar night or a polar day. Murmansk has quite a few tourists, but they're not really here for the city. They're here for the nature which surrounds it and more importantly, the northern lights. It's not guaranteed if you come to Murmansk, you'll get to see the Northern Lights, but there's a pretty good chance. So I'm here, I'm visiting for two nights and I really hope I get to see Aurora Borealis at some point during my trip. We begin today's video here in Murmansk as we do in almost all Russian cities, right in the center of the city next to the statue of Lenin. Unlike a lot of cities, this is not called Lenin Square. However, that street there is Lenin Avenue and it is the main street which goes through this city, the main thoroughfare for locals here. Behind me here is a ship called Lenin. This ship is the first nuclear powered icebreaker in the world. And because of that, it's great significance after 30 years of service working for the Soviet Union, it was put here permanently and is now a museum. Since it's been turned into a museum, there have been over 130,000 people who've had a tour around this ship. The tour lasts 60 minutes, I've just completed it, and you get to go through and see the engine room where the nuclear engines work, you get to see the hospital, and also get to go on the bridge at the front where the captain and all of his crew would have been working. The icebreaker Lenin was not only a great source of pride for the Soviet people as the world's first nuclear icebreaker, but it was also extremely practical and helped speed up shipping routes. Instead of having to go south through the Suez Canal, you can half that and go north and get to Asia super quick. Минус 
Часовая кормовая часть под острым углом поверхности построена ну, с помощью вот этих частей ну, на той корме не очень нормально. Сплава сделана, дорогая сталь называется сплав, ну, специально me here is the Marine Orthodox Church Spas Navadu. It was built in 2002 and it was funded by residents of this city. They donated their money and they decided to build a church in the classic old Orthodox style. That's why it looks a lot older than it is. Inside it's got lots of icons relating to sailors as this is a Marine Orthodox Church and it's its pride of place here in Murmansk, overlooking the port. Next to the church, just a little walk away down some steps is this. this is a lighthouse. It's a hexagonal lighthouse 18 meters high and it was built in 2004 in memory of soldiers who died during peacetime. Next to the lighthouse is this. It's a little memorial which has the crest of the Russian Federation and below it it says to the sailors and to the submariners who died in peacetime. Behind me here is a statue called Alyosha. It's the main site here in this city. It's a 35 meter high soldier who is looking out over Kola Bay. He's a symbol of the hero city of Murmansk, a soldier looking out over the, the bay which made this city so important during the Second World War and continues to keep Murmansk being so important for the Navy of Russia, but also for its commercial port. At the base of the statue, at the base of Alyosha, is this, the eternal flame and also the tomb of the unknown soldier. This is dedicated to those who fought for the Soviet Union during the Second World War and you can see flowers and wreaths are laid there right now in memory of those people and this flame burns eternally also in their memory. As well as the statue, one of the great things about this area of Murmansk is the view. You get a great view over Kola Bay, over the commercial port of Murmansk and over the city. Let's take a look. And one interesting thing while I'm here looking over the city, the time now is 14.17. 14.17 is the time of sunset today. So you can see the sun has gone down, all the lights are being turned on everywhere and the night is about to come, even though it's not even three o'clock yet. I arrived this morning and the sun rose at 10.40, which means there is has been three and a half hours sunlight today. That's it, and it's about to get dark, and it's not even time for me to have my lunch.
My time in Murmansk has come to an end. You can see now I'm currently in Murmansk airport. I have to go home to Moscow, but I've had a really great time here in the capital of the Arctic. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you're from Murmansk, I would really love to hear your comments. And if you want to see more videos of me traveling around Russia about my life in Moscow, give me a subscription. It would really, I really appreciate it from my channel and I hope you really will love the content I've got coming. Thank you very much and goodbye.